Right. It's not perfect, is it, viewers? It's not perfect, but it'll have to do today. So, if you missed yesterday's episode, you probably don't already know this, but you're about to find out. We play Lake Orient today in the first round of the playoffs in the Vanderbilt National. Uh, teams 4-7 to seven, uh, play each other, 4-5-6-7 play each other, and then they play second and third in the semi-finals of that competition. Only one leg as well, and because of our high position, we get to play uh, at home. I don't know if that works for every team, actually. Did, did Main Road finish above Morecambe? Yes, that works fine then. Uh, we'll be away to Carlisle in our next game, no matter what happens, and it's all to play for then. Leighton Orient, 76 points this year. We got 84, so we're a little bit ahead of them. Uh, they did only win one less game than us. We drew 15 games this season, the most of any team. Uh, not ideal. But in terms of goals against, uh, we didn't even get the, we didn't that. We fell apart at the back end of the year. We fell apart. Not even the best defensive record anymore. Appalling. So today then, this, as I mentioned, you saw a moment ago, this will be the team for today. It's not perfect, but I think it's probably our best bet. Uh, and I've made the big call to play Mohamed over Colette. It's very close between them. I just think Mohamed is probably a slightly better player. So he's going to get the start today, along with Holness. Uh, Fitzpatrick can go. Goal. Martin and Pring either side of them. Harris to play the ball in the midfield spot. Doherty in the central midfield attack. Hall on the right. Uh, sorry, Hall on the left. Sl Clark Slocum on the right. And Brucey to play behind Gillum, of course. No Bright today. No Stevie Foster. No Wusu. They're all suspended. Wusu will only come back if we're to reach the final. So, blimey. And Bright will be back, back for the next game if we're to get there. But the fact they're not playing, the fact those three players are out today is devastating news. Gillum this season uh, has come on as a substitute, I think, eight times. Started two games and has one goal to his name. Not particularly good and we're relying on him today. Uh, he's played at a decent level before. Played at Ipswich, played at Kidderminster, so he's not too bad. Um, but he's going to have to produce the goals today and Lukey Brucey is going to play him behind him. That is a concern, but... Forget it. Let's win. So here we go then. Thames versus Lake Norian in this first round playoff stage to face Carlisle to face Carlisle in the semi-finals. This is going to be a short video or a long video. Uh, we're going to play until we're out or promoted. So this could be fun. Passionately say then, I expect to win tonight. They don't care. I'm going to say I've got faith in you. Go out there, make the difference, and that's the that's the theme we're going to go with, and they like it. Right, we're, st we're sticking with the same system. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not going to do the, the press conference. I don't like them. Uh, we're going to stick with the same system, just with different personnel. And when you take your two best players out, you're probably not going to be as good. So here we go. Not only that, but we we play in like if we to get through, you play in three days. So fitness wise, we could be in a spot of bother as Hall's free kick uh, deflects out wide to Williams. And Lainorian with a chance to bring this forward. And they are piling players forward. My word, we could be in trouble here. Holness over to Malintock, is it? I'm not sure if that's, that's said correctly. But anyway, Fitzpatrick makes the save and turns it behind. Quite a devastating attack there from Lainorian. We're at home. We're on attacking. I'm just thinking we should play a little safer maybe. For 10 minutes in, let's try and get to half time. Keep it nice and steady. And if we have to go attacking, maybe we get a goal. We can go on the counter attack. We don't have to change too radically. As uh, we actually bring this forward. Hall, everyone that side. Ball played into the middle. Doesn't quite reach its intended target. And the highlight's over. Pretty nervous today. Pretty nervous. When a whole season comes down to a couple of games... Our recent form, as you've seen, not particularly good. And uh, the ball forward to Davison's very good. Into our area now, shot flies towards our goal, but not in the goal. And Doherty, one of our other best players, is now picked up a knock in the middle, which is not ideal. As uh, with the ball in behind, Karoma forward, Davison. I mean, the fact they're not won the lap is a bit fortunate. They've had to, have to take, off, take off a player as well and uh, throw it in our favour. Clark Slocum into Lukey Bruce. We've got to keep this ball moving. We've got some decent ball players in there. As uh, Doherty slides forward to Hall. And this is where we're dangerous. Ball to that post. Clark Slocum! And a pin to the back of the net. Thames to a 1-0 lead. Clark Slocum with the goal. Of course it is. A man that's been here for a very long time now. Gets the, the, the key goal. And we work it nicely over to that left-hand side. Doherty with that natural sweet left foot of his. Playing the ball to Hall. And the ball across isn't bad either. Bad either. Uh, great cross on the half volley. They can't keep it out, and Clark Slocum celebrates with the Thames massive. And there's lots of people in the crowd today. Oh my god, is it is it full? Playing Lake Norian, I mean, they're a, they're a big side. I think that we may even have a maximum capacity today. One nil to the good, looking good. Five minutes to go of this half, and uh, yeah, Delmar McLintock got booked, then got injured, so they were forced into a change, and they're not playing particularly well. Whereas actually, Clark Slocum, Lukey Brucey. Doing all right. Okay, team talk-wise. Pashi say things are going well, but you're capable of even better. They like that. I'm going to say no more. Injury to Simon Doherty. Uh, potential knee injury. Pope's on the bench. We could play him if needs be. That's really the only change that suits it, though. At some point, we might just make that change, so keep an eye on it. So far, fitness-wise, he looks conditioned, at least. He's all right. He's pretty level with everyone else. A second goal, and then maybe we'd think about taking him off. We're probably going to need him for another game if we're to play one in this episode. 
Uh, Harris into Pring. Forward towards Gillum if he can cause a few problems. Hall picks it up. If he can play it inside, he can. Doherty's there. Oh, Doherty scores. We're talking about his injury. He bags, he bags a goal. 2-0. Calvin Hall on the left-hand side with a lovely delivery in. Once again, Pring plays it forward. That's a little bit aimless. But the clearance isn't the best. Hall pounces upon it. Puts the ball into the centre. And there's Doherty rising at the back post to score. Keep, keeper should probably do better, but I don't give a stuff. Oh, there we go. We scored on the 25th and 52nd. Ooh, ooh. Illuminati, is that what the people say these days? Hall, free kick. 55 minutes gone. This would maybe seal the deal. It looks as if it's a penalty kick, and it is. Oh, it's, it's Gillum wanting this. He doesn't play very often. The striker, number 29, to make it a three and surely see us through to the next round. Oh, it's into the back of the net. 3-0 to the good. I'm going to make the bold decision now. Pope's going to come on for Doherty in the centre we'll save him for the next game but it looks as if after 55 minutes Thames will make it to the semi-finals and take on second place Carlisle who are a very good side that is scary but what a performance boys come on this is what this is how you want to start you set your episodes with just this sort of joy as uh we've got another chance here four maybe four proving we deserve to be there Pope now he's come on he's on the score sheet 68 minutes gone Thames four letting Orient nil see him off and it's game over and look at the Thames massive you've never seen so many Thames play uh, Thames fans in the crowd hopefully there's a fair amount of them Pope with the finish it's gone 2,000 away fans 2,000 home fans it's like being at Wembley that's pretty mad isn't it how it's like completely down the middle that's crazy maybe because they consider it sort of a neutral vote I don't know how it would work that's kind of weird as uh 85 minutes gone another chance for us I mean can we make it five the confidence we'll get from this by the way without our two best players didn't even really occur to me that Bright's going to come in for Lukey Brucey in the next game as the ball's played in little chance for them maybe but no dealt with Pope who we've barely seen this year has brought in a sort of a backup if relied upon and boy do we rely upon him now uh with, with all these injuries Stevie Foster's injuries caused mayhem that's a uh, good defensive work from us forward they can score if they want I don't care I mean, they're working it quite nicely. They might actually get a goal here from this as that whistles wise. Decent effort, though. Right, let's just go defensive. Let's just shut the door. Why not? Four goals. Clark Slocum, Doherty, Gillum and Pope. And he's on the ball now. That should see it. Eight seconds left. Gillum goes for goal. And what a performance from these Thames boys. It's been quite an even game. We've taken our chances, though. 4-0. 4-0. And that, then, takes us forward to our next game. Bright will come back into the side. Awusu is still suspended. But we know if we can get through the next game and into the final, he will be available. And that's where he might make the biggest difference. Uh, I think we play I think we play it like the weekend. You don't get a long break for this. But let's just confirm that now. Great start to the episode, though. Superb. Doherty's injured. One to two days with a bruised knee. So he, could, he should and could be back for the next one. Um, we'll do the press conference. It's a good feeling. A fantastic player. Um, is there interest on our side to get him, make him permanent? I mean, yeah, we'd love to do that. I don't think we're going to, though. Um, apparently, we, we rank amongst the leaders for fouls and cards awarded. I mean, surely you've got something better to ask me about. You've turned the Riverbank into something of a fortress in recent times. It's vital to have a good home record. Um, Elliot Dickman, I assume he's the manager of Blake Norian, is he? Um, can't stand him. <laughs> Bit harsh. Okay, let's rest the boys then for this game. Hopefully welcome Bright back in as well. And, uh, well, here we go then. Look, it's Carlisle, sorry. On the Saturday. I thought I, Not long, is there? Thursday, Friday off. That's it. They'll be well rested. They'll have had a week. As uh, we set new gate receipt records. 55k. Uh, so we're back. So, oh, quick move. We're at £89,000 in debt. That's not good is it owner's still loving it so let him love it let him enjoy it let him enjoy his purchase okay so the only change is probably going to be i guess we're going to bring brighty in are we are we do i do i bring him off the bench i mean luke bruce got injured so yes we, he starts <laughs> of course he has <laughs> I, was just gonna, I mean, it's as if they can hear me. Can you hear me, football manager? Can you hear me? Ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe that's just happened. <laughs> I'm considering starting the game. I don't think so. You can't laugh at it. Right then, uh, Bright to come in instead. Brucey, I don't even know if we'll put him on the bench now he's got that knock. I think we'll probably leave it. Um, no, actually, forget that. Put him on the bench for uh, for, for Ferry. Right then, team-wise, we're going to keep it the same apart from that one switch. Then Bright comes in. Um, am I not having quite as attacking? In this game, I kind of want him involved. So, uh, yeah, not quite pushed up as much uh, with Gillum. Fitzpatrick can go then. Martin, Mohamed, Holness and Pring. Harris just in front. Doherty Hall, Clark Slocum and Brighton Gillum up front. Um, again, if we get through this, then Uwutu comes back. And we kind of need that. Come on, boys. This I can't be with the stress of it all. Carlisle are good, though. This could... I'm just going to say now. I'm going to let you down gently. I, If I was betting, I wouldn't bet on Thames here. I'm just saying... Uh, Passionately say, you've been a good run lately. He's got there and impressed me. 
That hasn't gone that badly. Hopefully they're looking to play well. Uh, Carl Fuller, he's on the bench. Back off. Okay, this is... I'm not sure. I know we've just won pretty emphatically, but I think this is a tough game. I just think they, they ended the season really well. Their points tally kind of told me that. I mean, admittedly, we fell off a little bit, but they really powered forward. They actually gave Halifax a bit of a push towards the end, uh, more so than we ever did as Doherty gives it away. Harris intercepts, Hall, Bright. If we score now, then I'll take all of it back as uh, runners have gone forward. Bright brings it now into Gillum. Can he lay it through? He goes out to Hall instead. And actually, this is, this is a good spell from Thames. Maybe they're going to surprise me. Gillum! Get, oh, he's at the bar. Flipping heck. I, mean, I wasn't expecting this. Harris, ball in. I mean, it's a corner. Bright, Doherty. I'm expecting nothing. I, expect, I mean, I get nothing. I think the first goal is massive. Honestly, I think, if, I think whoever gets it might just win it as a... Uh, Holness decides to just give the ball away, just launch it forward to nobody, and the ball in behind is very good. Bartlett now in on goal. I mean, they are qu are these boys rapid? How quick are these? Oh, hold on a minute, everyone. Let's just slow down. How quick are Woods and Bartlett? My okay. oh god, they're both really fast. Okay, uh, we're gonna play slightly deeper because they are really quick. Hopefully, we can still get the support from Harris in front. But, um, yeah, we're not going to let them do that as often as maybe they would do ordinarily. Um, although I found on this year's football manager, it doesn't really make a difference. They'll still do it, regardless of how deep you play. It's a nice play from Carlisle. Of course, they're the home team. I imagine they've got quite a few fans in today as uh, Mohamed launches it forward. And this is where like we lack a Wusu because he's, he's chasing down. is really good. Wood forward now. It's not just his pace, but his finishing isn't bad either. And uh, we turn it behind. Plenty of time left, though. Only 16 minutes gone. Can't get a foothold in this game so far. Neither side are... Martin, that is that is a terrifying place to be in. And now we're quite deep. Bartlett, what a finish that is. My God. We, we haven't got... Off, we can't seem to get control of the game at the moment. And that's a big worry. I'm going to put Doherty in the centre on a support duty rather than the attack duty. I, yeah, it's not good. I don't... That goal might have been good. We don't know. I think it was, though. First time volley, it seemed like. As... Uh, Thrown for us, Doherty now, playing a bit more central. Uh, he and Bright have got to combine. Stevie Foster, we've seen him, he's so important to this team. Bright into Clark Slocum now, who's ventured into the middle for no reason at all. What is he doing there? Anyway, Mohamed, Holness, I'm on edge here. I've got into this game with a negative a negative vibe, and it's sort of coming true. Wood goes through now. Fitzpatrick with a save. <laughs> We're going to go standard. Come on, boys, just... Hold on till half time and we can start to think about how we're going to win this. Corner though, Davis to play it in to the boards of the bat. Lewis heads down, cleared. We've got to get there first. O'Shea, the battle's on with Bright. And it goes out for a throw. So half time, pretty much there. They have got a 1 0 lead and you've got to say they're pretty good for it as well. We've done a shot on target. We've got to try and fix that really. Uh, certainly say then, show me something else in the second half. I think this is probably our best team which is a bit concerning. Let's change it round. Let's put a hole forward. I've talked about doing this very early in the year. We never really did. Let's do that. Let's just change it to this. Gillum prefers an advance forward. Let's, let's, give him, let's give him what he wants. At the back, we are having a bit of a shocker. I mean, Martin is having a, t a dreadful game. 5.5. McCormick can come on and play there. He's right footed as well. He's defensively solid. We're going to make that switch. He's just having such a bad game. I feel like there's an error in him. Okay, boy. I did think we make a change at right back at the start of this game. I will say that much. We've got Colette, Fuller and Pope to come on if we need them. Uh, one midfielder, one winger and one defender. And Lukey Bruce, who I don't think is going to play. Free kick to Carlisle. Played in. That's not a good thing, is it? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It looks like it's going to be a Carlisle win unless this turns the tide. Davis steps up. Fitzpatrick doesn't even move. I don't know, I think today we're coming up against a better side and with no Awusu, with no key, like, major attacking outlet in him. Gillum's not bad, but Awusu's different gravy. And that red card has cost us. Got away with it in the last game, won and looked good doing it. And now, <laughs> that Lukey Bruce injury, is that is that the key moment? I mean, it's not over yet. If we score now, you never know, but I'm kind of over. Okay, okay. The comeback starts now. Hall scores it. I'm, I'm talking us down quite a lot here. And I'm not trying to just do it as like reverse psychology. I'm a little bit surprised we've got the goal to be honest. Oh, the Thames massive down that end. Hall, right footed finish. Uh, 10 minutes, well, 15 minutes. Not as a highlight straight away. I mean, if we score now, there's going to be there's going to be floods of tears running out of my face. If Carlisle score now, the same tears will, will appear. We've got it back. I mean, we've got to be calm here. McCormick, you've got to find the perfect ball. That's not it. And mm, another year in the Panorama National. Well, to, to expect us to go up this year was probably unrealistic. 
I think playoffs was quite likely, but it looks like it's going to be defeat in the semi-finals. That ball forward from McCormack is questionable. Or McCormick, I should say, sorry. And uh, Bartlett scores. 15. Another highlight after the goal. So maybe not over yet. Gillum finds his way through. Gillum with the shot. Saved by the goalkeeper. Chances galore all of a sudden. It's a corner. I'll let it play out because you never know. You never know. Clark Slocum is having a bit of a shocker. 10 minutes to go. We might as well get him off. Fuller comes on. I mean, he's not fit, but Bruce is going to come for Bright. He was not playing well. I mean, get him off. It looks like it's going to be over, though. I mean, we'll demand more. I don't know what more I can really demand, though. These boys are doing their best. They just haven't got it. All right, we've got it in the centre. Doherty and Bruce combine there. Brucey back on it. Ball out isn't the best, though. And we just don't seem as connected as normal. I think that's the that's the problem is York fight. The, 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 the ability, by the way, they've scored again, it's over. The ability for them to get in behind our back line, a back line, by the way, who I remind you, at the start of the year, it was like sensationally good, is is next level. I mean, it's not happened to us all year. If, if it had done, we would have probably made changes early. But the pace of their front, I mean, actually, York, I think it's a, a new player on, but it, he's probably pretty quick as well, I would imagine. You know, York's come on. Yeah, I mean, Ricky York, just as quick, 50 acceleration, 13 pace. Some of these boys are unbelievable. Fuller ball in, Hall's hit the bar. I mean, it's got in, but fourth two. I think I don't think it's going to happen, folks. If it does, then I don't know what happens. A valiant attempt, and I think as uh, it's all over, that is probably going to be Gavin Fitzpatrick's final game of the season and the final game. Well, it is the final game of the season, Ben. Uh, but the final game of his Thames career. Um, I'm going to say unlucky because they're a good side. They seem motivated. We've got to have to fight back next year. Of course, some good sides have left this division. I'm not sure who's come down uh, from League 2, but they're going to be the, the key teams to battle, I would imagine. And uh, you can't always have the good times, folks, as I've learned. Uh, we've got loads of debt as well, I've just realised. But we'll see what happens next season. Uh, I'm probably going to stream the transfer window. Uh, so keep an eye out on the YouTube channel, on Twitter. That's probably the best place. Twitter.com slash DrBenji, at DrBenji on Twitter. Uh, do find out. I'm going to stream the transfer window at some point. That will be the next episode of this as well. Uh, I don't know if it'll be an official episode. We've done it before, though, so we're going to do it again. And if you're looking forward to that, let me know in the comment section down below. I will see you then for that transfer, uh, transfer window very soon. We might be looking for a goalkeeper. Good luck with care. Until next time, goodbye.